something that is really important for a lot of different applications, but especially on a farm or any kind of, you know, trades where you're on concrete or uneven surfaces, footwear is extremely important. And for me especially, I really like having good quality footwear. So for the past number of years, um, I have worn these Thorgood boots. They are steel toe boots, but recently the threads on all four seams, the, uh, the other half of the pair, same thing, these threads have come apart and now I've got a hole in there. And so that's very annoying. The rest of the boot is not worn out. Um, it could actually, you know, last for quite a while. The leather is very durable. I did not take very good care of this boot. So, I decided to go with something different and try something else. So I ordered, I've never actually seen Tacovas before. Um, know very little about them actually, but they seem, uh, based on pictures and their website and everything, to be a pretty good quality boot. So, I have not looked at these yet. This is essentially my first impression. I'm making this part of the video while the boot is new so you can see what it looks like. And then after a while, I will finish the video so I can give you an honest review of this particular boot and whether it's any good or not. So let's get into it. Let's see what we got. So the presentation <clears throat> is pretty nice. It comes in a nice box like this. It shipped from Texas, got to me in uh, a couple of days, uh, three days. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, if you look in the box, it has this kind of nice presentation. And they've got a little intro here. Basically they're saying you're welcome to send them back, you know, if it's the wrong size or something like that, because they generally, I believe, um, are direct to consumer. So, let's see if we can get into this, see how they look. So hopefully I did get the right size, but we'll see. It's kind of interesting that they're wrapped in plastic. Maybe they do this to uh, protect them from weather during shipping or something like that. But that's kind of interesting. So this is the, let's see if I can find, I don't see anything. So this is the Stockton, I believe, let's see, how do we know what it is? Yeah, the Stockton, um, it is the, the leather is Bison, I believe it's Cognac, this has a Vibram uh, rubber sole, and so I kind of selected this for the kind of activities that I have going on. So. Just a, a really nice, clean look. Um, these are not steel toe. Definitely uh, a, a really nice leather. I, I chose this color, of course. The heel here has some leather in it as well. And it has a, a decent elevation. I really like the profile. I want a boot that's pretty easy to just slip into and go. And so that's why I chose this. Now the shaft of these is unlined, so this is just the uh, buffalo leather there. Got some stuff in inside. Get that out of there. Now they do come with a with a liner. Pretty straightforward. Not really anything special there. And then the the heel. You can see inside the boot. The heel has a piece of, of rawhide leather on there. I'm no leather expert. I think it's rawhide. And then it's got some leather in the bottom there on the footbed as well. So that's how the boot looks now. The upper portion here is really, really soft. Like, it's, it's very flexible. It's actually much softer than my Thorgood, which is already several years old. So I'm going to put these to work. I'm not going to spare them. Um, I probably won't be polishing them very often, but I'll, I'll try to keep them looking decent. And uh, we're just going to go right to work with them and see how they hold up. Alright folks, here we are, six months later. Let's see how the Tacovas have held up. So, I put these boots on at the end of, <clears throat> end of the cut, and I pretty much wore them every day since then. So, <clears throat> really, six and a half days a week, seriously, every day. They have been in mud, they're in water on a regular basis, and a little bit of water, you know, usually a couple of inches. Um, dirt, asphalt, concrete, we have a lot of concrete here. Uh, all kinds of rocks and stuff. I wear these for 
12 to 16 hours a day. And <clears throat> um, generally, they've gotten used pretty hard. So I oiled them a couple of times. Um, but you can see, I mean, they've gotten scratched up. There's quite a few scratches, actually. Uh, there's a small gouge on this one. They really um, got used pretty hard. And I didn't take real good care of them. I didn't really clean them too much. Um, I do wash them with the pressure washer every now and then when they're muddy, things like that. But really, I just, I mean, I put them on and I used them. And so, <clears throat> six months in, I wanted to uh, kind of show you uh, where we are. So, a couple of things to note. There's some heel wear in the back here. It's fairly even, but it's, it is uh, typical for me. I, I tend to wear this inside corner of the heel faster than this side. So, that's normal for me. Um, we do have a little bit of separation there. And I'm not sure why that is. I, I'm assuming this is probably fastened on with an ad adhesive. And so maybe the leather swelled a little bit or something and loosened. This one is similar. And that's what makes me think that it has something to do with the construction. And maybe the maybe water, you know, making the leather, leather swell and shrink. Um, this side is fairly tight, a little bit loose there. A um, little bit of separation up here as well. Now, this, uh, this part of it is stitched on, but the stitching is wearing away right there. <clears throat> um, let's see. Other than that, there's really nothing um, that has sort of um, changed since they're new, except actually this one. I think the right side has a slight squeak to it now, so it's kind of annoying, but it's not, not that big of a deal. It's fairly faint, and it's, it's not all the time. Um, the uppers on these, even out of the box, were fairly soft. They're, they're nice and supple. They're not stiff like some boots, you know, where they're standing straight up. Um, I always have these under a pant leg anyway, so you can kind of see the, the mark there from the, the cuffs on the pants. <clears throat> um, the rest of it, you know, the color has held up pretty well. If I oiled it, I'd have to put quite a bit of work into it to make them look good again. But, I mean, I got these for a work boot uh, to wear wear around the, the farm here and uh, wear them to work every day. So, so that's the condition that they're in. Now I think the most important thing, what condition are my feet in? I have to say, this is the most comfortable boot I have ever had. Um, I think the size is not ideal. I think I will go with a slightly different size next time, but the footbed is incredibly comfortable. Like I just mentioned, I'm on concrete, asphalt, hard surfaces all day long. No, no foot pain. I mean, none. It's, it, I was really amazed after the first two weeks. The first two weeks, were, there was definitely a break-in period. A lot of heel lift, and Tacova says that. I didn't believe that it would go away. Like, how could it? It didn't make any sense, but it did. So no heel lift anymore. Um, the inside... You know, it's in, in great condition. It just feels really, really good on my feet. And I have just, you know, in terms of, of actual walking performance, these have been fantastic. I can run with them. Um, they stay on. They, I don't have any problem with my foot coming out of it. I've heard people say something like that, you know, safety people. I don't know. It, you got to be an idiot if you can't keep your boot on. Um, that's just not not realistic so I, th I think a, uh, a boot like this will stay on just fine if it's sized correctly <clears throat> and if it's a good boot. So given the price point um, I would highly recommend Tacovas. I just I, I was really really blown away I have been blown away I'm wearing some uh, running shoes right now I'm gonna take them off I'm gonna put my boots back on as soon as the video is done that's what I think of these I, I wear them every day I'm very very happy with them um, I think uh, in terms of, of age, I think I can get a year out of them with the, you know, the usage that I described. Um, I haven't had any stitches fail other than, uh, like I mentioned, the one on the sole, wherever that was. Um, I, I don't know that it would be worth re-soling them for me, just because of the way that it wears and everything. And 
but I think the leather would hold up for another uh, one one resoling if uh, if I decide to do that. And I may I may get another pair um, that I keep a little nicer and then keep these for work. But in general, I think uh, I think you'd be quite happy with with this if you have a similar lifestyle or if you just need a, a comfortable work boot that's really quite versatile. I should mention these are not steel toe. Um, and that can make a big difference in comfort because they're not really restricted with the toe shape and things like that. So yeah, fantastic boot. The bison leather is incredibly tough. It's just, and it feels, I mean, it just feels so good. So <clears throat> that's my thoughts on the Tacova Rancher. Hopefully you can have a, a similar success story with it. Once again, I am not sponsored. I paid full price. They don't even know who I am. Uh, but I've been looking for a good boot for a long time, and I think I found it. Sitting all around.